Well, hi, nice to meet you. Thanks for agreeing to have a chat with me. Uh, pleasure. Really lovely to meet you guys. Um, so, t- how are you feeling? Feeling good. I mean, we're yeah. you know we're pretty tired. I mean, we, we literally flew in from Romania um, at 4 a.m. this morning, having left the festival at um, 3 a.m. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I mean, we, you know, it was an incredible event called Electric Castle mm-hmm. that we, I think we played to probably about 70,000 people. So um, you know, that's something special. Yeah. Managed to get I think a couple two hours sleep on the plane. So you know. <laughs> Um, That's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleeping's cheating, eh? <laughs> I'm only 21. <laughs> Not as young as I look. Yeah. How was how was sort of how was the response from Romania? I mean, you've you've do you say, uh, we've spoken earlier. We, you said you've got a good response from Romania. There's sort of a bit of a yeah. I mean, it, Romania is really good. A lot, of, you know, a lot of Eastern European countries and a lot of countries, to be honest, all around the world. Mm. But Romania, Electric Castle, the place that I'm, that I'm talking about in particular, mm. you know, um, from the first edition that they ever did it, you know, they announced that we would be, you know, playing every year, and we've we've we've, we've been lucky enough to play every year, and, and and we've managed to build up a massive following from that, and it's, and it, you know, it, you can get quite emotional about it, you know, about yeah. like you know to to, to to be in a you know total. Um, different country and just to feel the love that you know is pouring off them is quite amazing. Yeah, and I suppose that's built up over. I mean, you guys have been going for what over? T- you celebrated your 20, 20 year years. anniversary. Yeah, 20 yeah. Years. is it 20 years? It's actually 21. <laughs> to be honest, mate. There you go. It's 21. Bloody hell, there it's you go. 21. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. That, it must be something that you've sort of. It's nice to look back on now. You've cultivated that sort of group of people over the years. I, I, a lot of the, a lot of the time, like. Um, I mean, it's, I mean, it's beautiful to actually get there. Mm. Uh, it's beautiful to still be alive yeah. because, like I said, you know, <laughs> um, you know, it's it's been a journey. Do you know yeah. what I mean? As you know, I t- we talked about earlier on. You know, mm. there's so much, so many highs and so many lows. Like any band, mm. um, I think you, you're you're one of the, you're one of the original yeah. people, weren't you, well, John? Six months they've been going when I joined. So I think I was 21 and I'm 42 now. So so original yeah. as original. You're older than me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <He's only 21. laughs> so, so, yeah. No. So you know, yeah. To be, to be, you know, having have had a, a career that's gone spanned that long, and that's just this band. You know, I've been in mm. previous bands before that. Yeah. Um, is is quite an amazing feeling and an achievement because you never ever think it's going to last. You think you're going to get caught out. You know, someone's yeah. going to rumble you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So like, still to still be getting away with it after this long is pretty cool. Yeah. And the newer, newest album, Crazy Diamonds, came yep. out last year. How's the response been sort of since that came out? Yeah, I, I was saying, you know, it's been, it was like, um, you know, it, it, it's been one of our most well received albums to date, you know. Mm. But it's one of those things, you, you know, you, every album you do, you, you do. You, 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 you do is if it's going to be your best album, it has to be your best work that you've ever done, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that feel we, like, does that feel pressure on you? Though? I mean, is it? I think. No, you know what? Making an album isn't isn't the pressure. The pressure is when you finish it, and then suddenly, yeah. and it's it's weird because you never. You, the only thing you'll ever remember is a bad review. Yeah. You'll never remember a good review. Yeah. The same the same as the shows. You you know, of course they're highlights and things like that. But it's always the bad reviews or the bad times that you remember more than the good times because they stick, stick out cause, yeah because they hurt because yeah. they hurt you know yeah. you know it's as simple as that them. yeah <laughs> <laughs> and um talk me through sort of the process of like creating your new albums how does it all um well i mean on the last album um you know i, I generally i'll come up with an idea mm. tim who you just who just left there um who is rice three and brown Groove Armada and things like that we'll put on Prodigy and things like that we'll put horn sections together and then I'll get guest vocalists there's loads of different ways that we write yeah. do you know what I mean there's no set way Sean you would go off to Jamaica like normally normally we take six weeks off um, around Christmas and I'll go off to Thailand and Sean you would go off to Jamaica yeah. and um, I'll generally get a phone call from him saying like um, I- I'm with Beanie Man uh, in the <laughs> studio um, could you wire over a suitcase full of money and can we do a track together <laughs> yeah. or like cutty ranks or whoever so yeah. do you know what I mean All so it just kind of falls into yeah place can then, you send yeah. a beat over for us and 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 yeah just generally just 
you know, or there'll be artists that we want to work with, mm. and 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 um, they'll tell us they don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, Savage. Yeah. Well, you know, that's just the beauty of the piece. Now, yeah. generally, we've been lucky. You know, we've worked with Gregory Isaacs. Mm. We worked with Terry Hall. We worked mm. with Buster Rhymes. Yeah. We worked with Linville Golding. We worked with I don't know so many people. You know, L sixteen, Horace Andy. Horace Andy um, you know, and, and, and most of them, 99% of them have been absolute angels to work with, you know, yeah. like, and, and they're all heroes, they're all people that you want to work with, do you yeah. know what I mean, so, 100%. it's been an honour, you know. Yeah, this new album, there's a lot of collaborations on there, there's the, a lot I of think guests, it is... That's because Sean was in Jamaica for longer than he should have been, you know what I mean? <laughs> just get, stayed, yeah. Come back. <laughs> yeah, and, and while he was out there, he managed to grab a load of artists, so... Yeah. Um, I mean, but, you know, we've always... You know, we'll, we'll have a core thing. This, this is Sean, by the way. Over there. How are you doing? Come <laughs> sit down, join us. Yeah. Uh, just talking about how we made the last album and things. You know, no, no, we're just talking about what the last... What, 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 what the process is we're going through, and I was just saying, like, normally we take a six-week break, where um, I go to Thailand and generally Sean goes off, as I said, goes off to Jamaica mm. and then I'll get a phone call and he'll be like in a studio with someone saying, um, by the way, we've got so-and-so on with Beanie Man or I'm with <laughs> Cutty Ranks or I'm with Chesie Deck. Um, do you think we could wire some money over and make this thing work? <laughs> <laughs> And that's what happens, isn't yeah. it? I gotta catch you just before you go to sleep. Or <laughs> time zones. It's yeah. fun though. It was like, do you remember the last time as well? It was like, I think he was on the way to the, you was on the yeah. way to the airport. airport. He was literally on the way to the airport. Yeah. And he literally had to like suddenly, we'd been waiting for this phone call for Beanie Man for a long time, right? Yeah. And like yeah. suddenly like Beanie Man had agreed and he had to go to the studio. So it was like, had him to turn the taxi around. <laughs> but only having enough time to get in the studio and record like whatever he could, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and it's those sort of, that's the sort of decision that you have to make there and yeah. then. But like I say, that's, you know, and then, and then now, like I say, I think on the new album, I think it's like, that again, I think have, we've always been very eclectic in, in our styles. And yeah, I think definitely. in this one, we're kind of like, the shows have got tighter, everything's got tighter and we're more focused on what we're doing. Mm. And I think this album is very much, you know, it's it's, it's more of a combination of a, a lot more people involved that are directly involved in the band, having a more influence and, and doing, you know, things yeah. that we've never done before, do you know what I mean? So. Yeah. And there's plans for a next, a new album as well? Well, no, we're, we're, we're nearly done, yeah. Dark Days, Dark Times, do you yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah. like, you know, we're 15 songs in. But I think something that we're trying to do with this album we've never done before, is we've got the songs mm. and then and then there's some fantastic songs on there but then try and get in into a point where we can start playing them live and then really yeah. making them work do you know what I mean rather yeah. than recording them then they're done and then we're going to start rehearsing and playing them yeah. do you know what I mean it's like record record them without mastering them yeah then go and start playing them and, and, then, the and then start yeah. mixing them you know because that's the I mean that's the joy of you guys watching you guys on stage your energy and everything I mean that's for anyone watching that is incredible, right? <laughs> I mean, it is. I think, but, but it's a two-way street, like I, like I said, isn't it? It's like we feed off people, right? Yeah, energy. Yeah. You get that energy back from the crowd, you bounce back and forth. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a feel-good factor. It's like, give it, like the crowd go, give us more, and then, and then we'll we give say, you more, and yeah. We, you give us more, and we're, we're just you know, you know, it's, it's a great one concept. of us will drop. Yeah. One it's of like us. A <laughs> 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 one of us will go, but we we'll keep slugging it out. But yeah. you know, but no, it is a two-way street. You know, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of energy on stage, but a lot of that comes from the people. Yeah. What's your feeling about today? You know, like I said, you know, like um, last time we came to Nostock, and like I said, you know, I can't quite remember when it was, but we came in under darkness. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> no, but I could, well, I mean, it's, I, we came in under darkness, and I didn't appreciate the beauty of the site. Yeah. Um, and I didn't realise how, you know, absolutely amazing this place is. I mean, it's, it, Hidden Valley is a real hidden gem. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It, you know, it's a beautiful place, and right next door is Grandmaster Flash. Yeah. You know, so we're going to have a lovely time tonight. Yeah. You know. Well, I've, I've got one last question. As I, I, I work for a student magazine, so if you could impart a little nugget of wisdom on young musicians or writers or... I think we can all com combinate to this, and I think it's more than just finishing the one question. Mm. It's gonna, I mean, music industry's changed a lot, mm. obviously, but the one thing you've always got to do is believe in yourself 
and you've got to keep going no matter what do yeah. you know what I mean it's like because you will get knocks no matter you know you success is like you know getting success it depends what you want to be mm. right, where you value success is yeah. do you want money do you want fame or do you want like you know to be you know into what you into what you do yeah. but what you're going to do is one believe in yourself don't doesn't and you never ever stop learning don't let you know you're going to take knocks you're going to take you know you're going to get knocked back more times than you're going to get lifted up but the thing is to, it's like a boxer you know, it doesn't matter how many times people punch you down to the floor, just keep getting up yeah. and keep fighting because all the time that like, you're there and you believe in yourself, it will, will sooner or later it will work. Yeah. Dedication. Yeah. Roy Castle, dedication. Being it, yeah. What you need. <laughs> well, 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 what would you say to the, you know? Sure, sure. I'm just going to echo those sentiments, you know what I mean? Just yeah. believe in yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You're your greatest judge and you can be a greatest critic, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Just be true to yourself as a, as a musician. You know what I mean? And believe in your art. It might not be for everybody. Yeah. Do you understand? But yeah. for who, through the cat fits were weary. Do you understand? So yeah. just be true it, to yourself. Really. It's not, you know, it's not an easy industry. But anything that you, you know, anything that, you, but nor is any, and nothing is easy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and Sean, Sean will understand this more because of the way he's got two sons that are footballers. Do you know what I mean? And 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 they and they and they and they work and they work and they work. And Sean takes them there and he works and works and works for them, right? Yeah. And it's that thing of not how many you know they they play for so many different. They've been to Brazil. They've been everywhere, right? And it's uh, just keep going, isn't it? Yeah. Keep going. Okay. They're, they're good ballers. Perseverance is key. Yeah. Right. You know, and 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 also like I say, never. Yeah, listen to people sometimes as well. Mm. You know, don't you know, don't n don't listen to the, the knockers. T take it on board. <laughs> take yeah. it on board. Do you know what I mean? Take constructive criticism well. Yeah. Don't be so arrogant that you can't believe that people. You know, if a constructive criticism, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But believe in yourself and just keep pushing on. Brilliant. Well, thanks guys for chatting to me. My I'll, pleasure. Uh, I'll leave you to relax before Thank we get you. going. My right, pleasure. Yeah. Nice to meet you, darling. Yeah, lovely to meet you okay, too. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, there Thanks. you go. See you. How long at a drum college? Four years. Four years at drum college. Yeah. Um, we went to Jack's college mm. to um, to audition for drummers. Right. Jack's teacher actually ended up. We, Jack was Jack was like wasn't initially our first choice. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't because he wasn't brilliant <laughs> enough. But, 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 no, <laughs> no, it wasn't. You know, it was good because Jack was still at that stage still learning. We used, we used we yeah. used um, we used um, we used um, Darren Darren, who was Jack's teacher. Right. Okay. But it didn't work out. He was a great drummer, but he was just a bit like it wasn't a dub pistol. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So so. We, 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 we took Jack, and Jack's turned into the most amazing drummer that, like you, you, you will see tonight, and, and everybody knows him, not everybody gives that respect. Mm. But his teacher then failed him because he took, yeah. took his job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. After four years of hard work. Let's just say, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> uh, I haven't got it in writing. I, I allegedly failed a techniques exam. Because my technique was poor, but I'm not <laughs> but it, it That's was because, bitterness but it's because he had his yeah. job basically. Yeah, yeah. Do you know Funny what I mean? coincidence. The timing was sort of a bit interesting. Off. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, yeah. How it all fell into place. The best thing was we ran into him in a, in a petrol garage yeah. a couple of Absolutely years ago. Didn't we? Blanked so. me. Absolutely. <laughs> Said hello to everyone else. No, he's back there as well. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get on. <laughs> no, we no. So, but that, again, like I said, yeah. to you, do you know what I mean? It's like you know. Um, did you ever pass in the end? Yeah. I had to retake it. <laughs> <laughs> got, got my degree, but I ended up getting a 2 1. I would have got a first if <laughs> He would have got a first if he had to join the dub pistols. <laughs> <laughs> what could have been? <laughs> what could have been? What should have been? But yeah, now that's all I'm saying. Is yeah. like you know, just keep going, keep believing in yourself, and keep yeah. doing it. Well, the opportunities obviously come along. You know, yeah. it's yeah, that's yeah. brilliant. So that was it. I just wanted to get that story. Nice. Thanks for that. No worries. <laughs> Sorry about your two one. <laughs> Didn't need you to get this job. No. <laughs> Watch this, I'll get outside and he'll go, I thought it was a first, you're fine. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Right. Okay, done. Yeah.